I'm, I'm kind of curious about the early history of Putney Swope, how the movie actually came about. Well, I had three films in the village. Uh, Babel 73, Chafed Elbows, and No More Excuses that had an audience down there at the Bleecker Street and the Gate Theater, so it was kind of fun. And then I was writing Putney Swope, and I said, well, this is going to be easy after these first three. But when, when I wrote the script, nobody wanted it, and it wasn't going to be made, and finally some guy came along and said, I'll put it up. How much should it be? I said, I don't know. I don't know the budget. And we found a guy who made a budget, and he found the money, and we started shooting, and it was all done. We took it around, and I said, this is going to be easy. Nobody wanted it. Studios, distributors, nobody. So the backer guy, through his lawyer, had a screening for Don. He was the last guy who hadn't seen it. So we're at um, 639th Avenue, maybe, in their screening room. I think the Magno, that's on 7th, I think. Yeah, the way Ninth Avenue was um, in the film center building. That's there. right. Anyway, we're having a screening, and there's no Don Rugo for getting ready to go. So I'm saying, this is not going to happen. This is a waste of time. And suddenly, into the screening room comes Don. I said, who are you? He said, who do you think I am? <laughs> I said, you're late. He said, so what? That was the beginning of he and I. He saw the film. As he was coming out, he said, I don't get it, but I like it. And he took it. And he gave the guy an advance. And uh, he had three or four weeks to open it because he was in a hurry. You remember that, right? Always. And uh, it was fabulous. I mean, he gave, he gave the film Cinema 2. He pushed it. He had great ideas, which I'll tell you about later. And uh, I became a friend of his. I enjoyed him. You know, besides loving films, he was funny. He's not like the usual film nut, you know, who, who's telling you a hundred films you should see. He's a funny guy. <laughs>